Hey guys, happy Saturday. And uh, I'll make a couple notes as we go through today because the open workout was released yesterday. And so there'll be some modifications for today depending if you did that workout yesterday or not. But uh, strength today is gonna be, uh, was designed to be squat cleans, right? Yesterday we had thrusters, uh, which is got some similar movement patterns and we've done cleans twice this week. So if your collarbone is sore, we can also do snatches today, right? But the idea here is gonna be every two minutes for six rounds, we're gonna do three squat cleans, okay? This will be no touch and go. So you'll drop each rep from the top. So you're gonna set up, thumb distance from the knurling, chest is pulled up, pull, stand, and then drop the bar, reset, chest up, and stand, okay? You do that for three reps every two minutes, building to your heavy set for the day. Okay, so if you've ever been in class with me, I always say two things to think about every single lift. Number one is to keep your chest up. From beginning to end, always chest up. So when you grab the bar, oftentimes your chest is facing the ground and your butt's kind of high. You wanna drop your butt and pull your chest up, okay? Always, every single time you're focusing on chest up. The other is to make sure that you feel the bar make contact at your thighs. So as you pull the bar past the knees, you wanna make sure the bar makes contact here as you extend. And you can ask yourself after the rep, did I feel the bar make contact at my thighs here? Sometimes you feel contact, but it was way down here, okay? Sometimes you don't feel it at all. And that means it's something you need to work on. If you're trying to feel that, and how we teach the movement is to start from a standing hang position. So you stand up first, set yourself up, and if you watch from the side, okay, get the bar off your thighs. You don't want the bar touching your thighs as you load. You bring the hips back, okay, and learn how to get that contact, okay? Um, so three reps every two minutes for 12 rounds. If your legs are tired, you can do power cleans. That's fine, so don't squat. If your collarbone is sore, you wanna do, don't wanna do cleans, you can do the same thing with a squat snatch or a power snatch. So have fun with it. Let's talk about the workout. All right, we got a team of three workout. We don't do these that often, um, but it's gonna be two parts. Each part is a 10 minute AMRAP, and we're gonna work through with three people. The way it's gonna go for the 10 minute AMRAP is one person is going to be skiing as many calories as they can go. The other two people are gonna be doing synchro Cindy. Cindy is five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats, all right? And they're gonna be doing it synchro, meaning they have to stay with their reps together, okay? When they finish a round of Cindy, one person rotates onto the ski erg, the person on the ski erg rotates to Cindy, and then those two people do synchro again, and then you continue to rotate through those positions, right? So every person will do two rounds of Cindy before they get back to the ski erg and you just keep moving through. This just takes a little bit of communication. It's kind of a fun way of kind of switching up your pacing, relying on other people. Scale this, the, the Cindy reps, the pull-ups, push-ups, air squats should be pretty quick. So scale the pull-up and, and push-ups if needed so you can ideally keep moving through it, right? The variation here, if you did the workout yesterday and you don't want to do any more pull-ups or your hands are raw, any of that stuff, will just be to do um, 15 push-ups and 15 air squats and then move through, all right? So good standards on the push-up. We always talk about this. Push-up standards are hard, okay? Because when you get tired, it gets frustrating. You're only using your upper body. So straight line from the shoulder down to the ankle, chest touches the ground and you get a good lockout, okay? In Cindy, normally the push-ups are the thing that get hard. So rest if you need, communicate with your partner, good position, touch your chest, drive back out, okay? Uh, we can elevate our hands if we want, like put your hands up on a bench or a box to make it easier, or you can use a band around your hips, uh, something like that. But just make sure you get a good range of motion every single rep. Same thing for the air squat. Get a good deep squat every time, stand up all the way every single time. After that 10 minute AMRAP, two minute rest. And then the next part is going to be rope climbs and sandbag runs with your partner. So this will be the same concept, except this time we're gonna have uh, one person doing rope climbs, okay? If you've never done rope climbs, you can do rope lowers, right? Keeping your feet on the ground, laying down and standing back up. Uh, or you can just go part of the way up if you're just learning, stay in your comfort zone and then come back down. Your two other partners are going to be running with the sandbag 
and it's one sandbag for the two people so they can trade off as they go, come back, switch the person out, and do another run. All right, so that's for max rope climbs, and that's gonna be another 10 minutes. So that is the entire workout. So after that 10 minutes, you're done for the day, guys. Uh, that's it, and hopefully we'll see you at the open party tonight.